During the retreat, political parties that formed the National Consultative Forum under Article 20A of the Political Parties and Organization Act nominated and chose NRM's Dr. Ruha Kanar as chairman of the forum. The retreat which ended today saw a number of resolutions reached top among them is being accountability. They must be accountable to their members so that that spirit of accountability can be extended to the country. They should follow their constitutions and we should be able to listen to each other, to, ter to tolerate each other, even if we have different manifestos, different ideologies. Currently, there are over 30 registered political parties in Uganda. Only the National Resistance Movement, Democratic Party, Uganda People's Congress and Justice Forum, Conservative Party and Forum for Democratic Change have representatives in Parliament. One of the guest speakers, Chikula Pansi, who is also South Africa's Electoral Commission chairperson, noted that this initiative will always act as a balancing point in case of disagreement between the parties. Issues that have raised issues of conflict. I'm hoping that they will have an early warning system so that uh, the forum can deal with uh, conflict before it escalates into violence. The second deputy premier, Henry Kajura, also noted that this will aid the transition towards a more concrete and solid democracy. A durable democracy which will give the people of this country uh, their freedom, their stability, now and for the future. The forum is a prerequisite under the Political Parties Organization Act that was passed into law by Parliament in 2002. It followed a controversial debate about the need to regulate the status of political parties in the country after political space was opened for their participation. Maurice Chol, NTV.